The Code Canvas and Code 101X Gallery is an application created specifically for you to use and to practice the processing JS code that you learn during this course. You can access and use the Code 101X Gallery anytime throughout the course to put your newly learnt coding skills into action. You will also be able to share the assignment artwork that you create and view other learners' artworks and explore their code. The Code 101X Gallery is embedded at various places throughout the course, where you'll be asked to practice what you've learnt within the lesson videos. You can access the Code Canvas and Gallery at any time by selecting the Code 101X Gallery option from the course top navigation. To help you get started, we've provided a Code 101X Gallery button just above this video. Select the Code 101X Gallery button to get started. The first time you access the Code 101X Gallery, you'll need to nominate a username and password to use. Once you've entered a username, select the Save button. If the username already exists, the system will ask you to provide a different one. Now you've created a username and password for the gallery, we'll show you how to code and create artworks. First, select My Studio from the top navigation, then select Add Artwork button to open a new code canvas. Next, give your new artwork a title that describes what you're going to create. You can then begin to write code from within the code editing area. To compile your code and see the results, press the play button. You can continue to add code while the play button is pressed, but this will continuously check that your code is correct and show you errors while typing. Instead, you can press the pause button and continue to code, then press play when you're done. Once you're happy with your artwork, select the Save button. This will save the work to your private My Studio area, ready to work on later or to submit to the assignment galleries. To complete the assignments, you'll need to share your work to the correct galleries. To do this, select the Share option next to the artwork title. You'll then need to select the appropriate gallery from the list provided. This will correspond to the task or assignment you've just completed. Once you've made your selection, click the Share button to make your artwork available to other learners to review and learn from. If you want to continue editing your artwork after you've shared it, you need to unshare the work or create a copy. Cloning creates a new copy of your artwork. You can continue to add your artwork once you've cloned it. You can then share it as a new artwork. The artwork area allows you to see and interact with all the artworks that have been produced and shared by other learners. The Exhibition area allows you to see and interact with the artworks that have been submitted to the different assignment exhibitions. You can then browse the artworks and explore their code. If you like an artwork and you want to let the creator know, please select the Like button. You can also have access to the direct address link to the artworks so that you can share them as you wish. Throughout this course, you'll be asked to critique and discuss other learners' artworks and code. You can start or add to a discussion on a particular artwork using the discussion area below each artwork. Remember to please keep your comments constructive and positive. If you need help with a Code Canvas or Code 101X Gallery, select the Help button. This will provide you with some useful support information. We hope that you find the Code 101X Canvas and Gallery to be a useful area that assists you to put your newly learnt coding skills into action.